Hi team, I hope that you are all well. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I did get myself a new book diary this year from Little Inkling Designs. And I am very excited to give this a try. I owned and had with this for ages, so much so that I missed out on the black and white version. So I've ended up with the color version, which is absolutely fine. This diary is absolutely beautiful. So I thought we could fill in the bits for January, which I'll show you in a second, um, and go through that together. I do miss bullet journaling. I just don't have the time to do it anymore. And I used to love doing the bullet journaling videos. So I thought I would give this one a go and see whether or not you look like it. And if you do in future, I will do these for every month um, so we can fill the month in together. Uh, we will also be doing my 2023 goals in this one as well and a couple of other bits, which I will go through in a second. I did just want to show you very quickly what some of the um, pens and stickers are and stuff that I'm going to be using. So I do have some of these... So I do have some of these midliner pens, which I really enjoy using. Um, I have them in various colours, so I'm going to be using a couple of those, I think. I've got just this bl plain black pencil sign pen as well for any black areas. This Sharpie, which I actually thought was uh, black, it's not, it's navy, which is fine. <laughs> Uh, I have a pencil because I like to write things out in pencil first on occasion. I do have a bunch of these lying around somewhere. Stablo, uh, Stabilo 0.88, fine, not 0.4 pens. I just don't know where they are. Um, as usual, uh, I have a Uniball in silver, which I may use in here. Uh, I do just have a normal big pen, which I like using blue pens rather than black. So... There may be that in here and then this Edding colour pen in grey. So I think that covers my pens. Uh, I do also have these Passion Planner highlighters as well because I do have a Passion Planner too. So I may dip into those a little bit. And then for stickers and stuff, I have a whole tray here. Um, obviously, I won't be using that now, but I'm going to stick it in the back of the diary for uh, around October time. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stickers here from Jade, which I get as part of her Patreon age. I've got some from I've got some from basically Brit um, whose shop I will leave a link to in the description box down below I've got some Gilmore Girls one from the Rabbit Tribe which I've had for a while I have some Ethereal Curious uh, sorry, Curiosities these are Illuminae file stickers which I absolutely adore more from Brit more from Jade again, some of these like Christmas, Halloween um spring themed but i'll use them sporadically throughout some more from brit uh, more from jade i have some from dark face who i use quite a lot Gemma, uh, i really love some of her stuff so i've got quite a few from her uh, just some little ones that i assume have come in book boxes i can't remember but i have quite a few of those uh, some more from dark face more from Jade, um, and just a whole bunch of stickers. And then I do have this tub full of washi tapes as well. All different kinds of washi tapes. So I may dip into those as well. I don't know how fancy we're gonna get, but we're gonna have a bash and see what we can do. Um, I do like that this is kind of already set up. So going into it, we do have a page that already has some stickers on it, which I have stolen a couple of those. I will show you why in a minute. We have a section in which I can put my name on and like how to get it back to me in case it goes missing. It's highly unlikely because I'm not likely to leave the house with this diary, I don't think, because it is so bulky. It's likely to stay on my desk. Um, so we have a, a year to view calendar. And then we have important info. So star rating systems, I've seen some people do this with like quotes and stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, so I might leave it for the time being. We are going to fill out most anticipated books today. And then we have my 2023 goals as well. Reading checklist, I'm actually going to use this. Some people can use it as like a write the books in and then tick it off when you've read it. I'm going to use it as a writing in as I go. Uh, kind of checklist so this is going to be kind of like my goodreads but in paper format so we've got quite a few of those pages and then we have the bookcase as well which again i can't fill in today but will start to fill in as the year goes on 
book series tracker. I may stick a few of these in that I'm aiming to finish early on in the year, so I will write some of those in. Then we have a couple of quotes pages, which are really, really pretty. Uh, then we have a wish list area, a movie tracker area, which is really nice because I am a movie buff, and a TV tracker as well, which again, we'll watch a lot of TV shows, so this is really great. And then five star reads, which obviously I'll fill as I go along, and this you can kind of tailor to your needs. So this, for example here it says whether you record book club picks your favorite book of each month your top books of the year or book selections from book boxes this page is open to your creativity i might do my best book of the month and then i already have my 12 books of the year there maybe but also i will pencil them in i think for the time being then at the end of the year properly fill it in on the basis that sometimes i do switch the books around throughout the year like my rating can change throughout the year then we have a couple of challenge pages. So this is the A to Z challenge, which I'm going to try and do this year. The 2023 fully booked reading challenge. So these have all different kinds of prompts on them. A book published in 2023, 2022 award winning book, a fairy tale or myth retelling, the second book in a series, etc, etc. Again, I'll probably write them in my pencil and then fill them in towards the end of the year because I can switch and swap and stuff. Um, on the cover reading challenge, a crown, a book or paper, something broken, a house, something gold, a piece of furniture, etc, etc. Reading the rainbow challenge, genre reading challenges and read through the ages challenges. <clears throat> I'm not likely to fill this one in, but this one, probably. And then we have an around the world reading challenge, which is really nice. We've got Europe, North America, um, an island, South America, Africa, Antarctica or Arctic, Middle East, Russia, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, which I think is really nice. And then a reading goal tracker. So on this basis, I might actually set my Goodreads goal to 126 this year um, and do that instead. I'm currently on 158, so uh, it's easily doable for me, but 126 might be what I aim for this year. And then Battle of the Books, again, you can do this whichever way around you want to do it, but I'm going to do it January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and let them battle it out, which I think is nice. And then there is like a tracker here for whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with this, whatever you want to track, because on the next page, there is a pages red tracker. So you don't need to track your pages on this one, but you could track uh, days red or... Um, I actually have no idea what I'm going to track on here. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then there is like a little pie chart area here where you can, at the end of the year, um, break it all down if you want to. Genres read, book format breakdown, and star rating breakdown. And like I say, pages read in 2023. And then just a couple of bullet, bullet uh, sorry, dotted pages so that you can fill in whatever you want, any extra. So this is then the January page. My soul belongs to words and books. I really love that. I think it's really nice. Um, so we have the January page and we have a month to view calendar. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is actually fill out... Um, I'm thinking of filling out my schedule for youtube and instagram on here and also i was going to use my passion planner for that and then i got this really last minute so i don't really need the passion planner anymore but it is what it is um adhd hello welcome so i think i'm going to do my youtube and um instagram on here maybe and readathons and stuff so i need to make notes of like when i've got sprints and things like that so for example the seventh and the eighth is final book support group so i'll have sprints on those days um so i think i might do that but i may change that at some point so then we have books to read which we will be filling out today new releases which i may fill out today as well i already have a list of books that i've already pre-ordered that i can put in here and then we have week to view, which as you can see, I've started filling out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have started on the 26th of December and will end on the 1st of January, obviously, because the 1st is the Sunday. Um, so 
I have started filling this out. Smutathon did start on Monday and I am taking part when I'm on Wednesday. I read Flock yesterday and I did also start There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark, which I plan on hopefully finishing today. Um, so we're going to fill this out as well and then obviously the weeks just go on. So any important information I might try and fill in today as well and then at the end we have a bookish haul so I can write these in as I'm going along and a reading wrap up so it has reading stats number of books read best book pages read hours listened number of dnfs um, and then formats genres read currently loving different things like that and then just again a few extra pages of blank space before you're into February so today we're going to fill in my most anticipated books and my 2023 goals I am going to start filling this in. I won't fill it completely in, but I am going to start filling it in. I'm not going to fill my movie tracker in because I want to do that as I'm going and make a record. I always want to make a record of, book of movies I've watched for the year. So I'm going to do that here. But I will start filling in the TV tracker because I've been watching Yellowstone and I'm nearly towards the end of being up to date and I want to make sure that I go back to it and don't forget. So I want to start filling that in. <clears throat> And then I may start filling in some little bits in here for the diary, uh, for the calendar even. And then we will fill in books to read and a couple of new releases, I think. And then may go on to this one. On here, I am planning on doing um, across the top. I've watched a couple of videos to see how people use this because I am aware that you could use it morning, afternoon, evening. But... I want to use it very similar to how the owner of Little Inkling Designs use it. So she does a to-do list along the top for the day. Then she does uh, random little bits in the middle. So even if she's not got anything going on, she might just stick a sticker in it. For example, yesterday I didn't do a great deal of anything other than reading and watching Yellowstone. So I just stuck a sticker in. And then on the bottom, she tracks her reading because there is a section here for amount read. So on the bottom, she tracks her reading. So I think that's how I'm going to use it as well. I think that will be a really nice way to use the diary. Um, that could change as I go on throughout the year but for now that's how I'm going to use it and I think um also like maybe section this off and do like plans for the week or what I'm planning on reading for the week or anything like that um but yeah so that's what we're going to do today I am going to put some music over this so I don't want to do a voiceover on this one that's why I wanted to go through with you exactly how the planning looks and everything um so we're going to do that but I will put some music over so that you can enjoy and kind of like fast forward this section a little bit and so that you can enjoy it with me and I hope that you do so without further ado let's get into it okay i just very quickly nipped upstairs to go and get some more stickers that i completely forgot about and found more of my mild liner pens so we have more of those now and i also did find some of my tombow pens as well which i completely forgot i've got so we can use some of those I forgot I have, I don't know how I forgot this, but final book support group stickers so I can put those in on the days when we've got final book support group. Daisy and B have obviously done some stickers as well so I can use some of those. Total brain fart. And then I realised that I could use some of these which we usually stick on the backs of the bookmarks. So when we've put the bookmarks in the sleeve, um, we stick these on the back just as a cute little extra. And I can use one of these on Daisy and Bee release days because we've got one coming up in January. And then a couple more of my Faber Castell uh, pens as well. Just picked up a few of those as well that I just caught my eye on upstairs. So... Let's get into it, shall we?
Tell me that it's my fault My fault that it's over Wish I played it different I didn't know All the times that you call Call me to be closer Wish I paid attention I should've known You're probably with your friends Dancing on tabletops Hands in his head already Saying that you forgot about me I just don't wanna know Who you give your love to You'll end up leaving you with someone I just don't wanna know You be drinking way past two Lights out and it's not me or love decided to stick another battery in and just talk you through uh, exactly what I've done. So, it is very plain. I, I'm not very fancy with my writing, with calligraphy and stuff. I wish I was. I might try and practice some more this year, but uh, my, my writing is very plain and boring. So, down here, I've got most anticipated books. These are not all of them. They're just some that I've got pre-ordered and I'm very excited about. And then over here we've got my 2023 goals, which I haven't fully filled in because I'm still thinking about some of them. But one of them is to read more nonfiction. I really do want to read no more nonfiction this year. And then I've got a section for the shop stats and the YouTube stats so I can fill in the beginning of the year and then maybe mid-year and the end of the year to see how we've progressed with both the shop and YouTube. Just a little reminder not to forget to look after myself because I do this very regularly. For example, today is a day of total, well, almost total ADHD paralysis, a bit like yesterday was. 
and I was in bed until 2 p.m. Finally got up and forced myself to have a shower and then come down here and film this video. So, <laughs> but it took me until that point to be able to actually get out of bed. Uh, and then this one is very, very light, so I might go over it with a, another pen, but it says be kinder to myself. Um, I've also put a little plant thing there to remind myself to keep watering my plants. I don't think I need to make that 2023 goal, but just a reminder would be very, very nice. I do want to do some stuff with regards to like working out and also eating better, but I'm not sure how I want to word that yet. So I'm going to rethink it and then I will fill it out. Um, so then we skip through to the book series tracker so as you can see here i've only filled a few in i've got the four horsemen series which i'm going to be reading famine tomorrow which is the third book in the series and death at the beginning of january uh the wild series which is the uh wild at heart series i think that's the second book but whatever the, the first book is called i have filled these ones in with pencil because I don't know how many books are going to be in the series. I don't know if it's continuing. So for the time being, I filled them in with pencil. And I will be reading what is currently the final book at the beginning of January. The Greenbone Saga, I've only read Jade City so far. Poppy War, I've only read Poppy War. And The Celestial Kingdom was supposed to be, again, I've only done it in pencil because it's supposed to be a duology. But there's a third book coming out. So I have only read the first one. And I do aim to read uh, Heart of the Sun Warrior when it comes, when it arrives. Because I'm getting the Fire Loot edition. So. So um, yeah, I've just only partially filled that in for the time being. I want to decide what series I want to focus on next year so that I'm only filling those in here and I can fill them in as I'm going along as well. As mentioned, I have put Yellowstone in here. I'm halfway through. I think actually I'm near the end of season four. So um, I will be able to fill that one in soon and then go into season five and then I'll be up to date then. But there is supposed to be a season six coming out as well. Haven't filled that in yet, but we'll see how we get on with that. And then we get into January. I was going to fill this in, but I can't decide how to do it. Whether to do like my videos and then some ideas for bookstagram posts or whether to do this as like a general calendar for life. Whereas like I fill in everything. So everything that I've got going on, whether it's business, um, YouTube, Patreon, um, life. I can't remember if I said that. So like birthdays and things like that. I've not decided yet how to fill this calendar and I need to look at my other diaries that I've got so far and make a decision on what's best to do. I do want an area where I've got everything on my calendars but I did buy a family calendar this year so that I can split that up into life, Patreon, YouTube um, and the shop. So maybe that's where I'll put that and then focus this on books only. So YouTube and um, Instagram and then have the other diary for like organization for shop and more life stuff and stuff i'm not sure i haven't decided yet so for the time being i did just put a sticker in for the final book support group i realized it was too big to do two on each day so i've just popped it here and then daisy and b is opening back up on saturday the 7th so i've popped that there uh, my books to read, I have just popped in obviously the month and the year because that's what it's asking for and then each of the books that I did pull out of the pumpkin jar as well as the book that I pulled out for Patreon. Um, so I have got all of these on here. I will no doubt read more than this but for the time being I'm just going to put the books in that I actually put on my TBR and then when we get to the end of the month I will fill in exactly what I read. New releases, these are the new releases that I've pre-ordered. So I haven't put on new releases that I am also anticipating. For example, like Hellbent, I haven't pre-ordered it yet. Um, so I have just put my pre-orders on here for the time being and the dates that they're coming out. And then we get into the week. So obviously this is still looking a little bit bland. For the bottom, I will be filling these in as I'm going along. So I did put There Are No Saints here, but I don't, I'm hoping to finish it today. But if I don't, I want to be able to put a squiggly line to here where I finish it. And then I am hoping to read Famine before I go to Andy's for the weekend. Um, so I did start my to-do list. I did fill in yesterday's to-do list because I like to feel accomplished. So come home, finish flock and water the plants, which I did do and stuck a little plant sticker in. Today, film the journal video, which is this one and finish their unknown saints. Again, because I'm struggling with my HJD, ADH, oh, I can't even say it, ADHD paralysis a little bit today. I am trying to convince myself that I'm going to be okay and everything is okay. It, it's, it's, you know, it's fine and just to be kind to myself a little bit. So I wanted to stick that in there today. And then tomorrow I need to wrap Andy's Christ uh, 
not Christmas presents, it's been Christmas, Andy's presents because it's his birthday on Sunday, um, and film a, another video and read Famine. And then Friday, I've got Patreon sprints at 12, and I need to film a couple more videos and pack for Andy's. Saturday's obviously New Year's Eve. I'm going out Saturday night for Andy's birthday slash New Year's Eve, and then it's his birthday on Sunday. So quite a busy week for me going on, but that's where I'm up to so far. And that is all I did fill in for the time being. I did just want to mention as well, I forgot to mention this, but obviously as we've got the rest of the months down here, at the very back we also have a section for book reviews. This is like a colouring in page if you want to colour that in. But we also have a, oh, there is a section here for 2023 reading and wrap up as well. And a quarterly check-in, which I didn't know was there, so that's handy. Um, so... The book reviews are set out like this, there's four to a double page and you can put the book cover in which is handy dandy because I've just bought a sprocket printer so I can print from my phone and print book covers off and stuff and then you can fill it in and put your thoughts down which is great because I've been wanting to do this for a while but I end up misplacing my books because of who I am as a person and there are a lot of these pages, I don't know specifically how many uh, reviews you get in here to fill in but there are a lot fill and then some dotted grid pages as well at the back as well as a oh some lined pages and a little pocket here as well for stickers and stuff if you want to put them in um so yeah that is it for the time being let me know if you enjoyed this video i know i'm a little bit boring with my writing and stuff i don't do calligraphy or anything i'm gonna try and practice that i would love to be able to write like this um but I'm hoping to get a little bit more crafty and artsy once I get back into it. It's just been a really long time since I've done anything like this, like a bullet journal or anything. Usually my journal looks pretty plain and very um, to the point. And I would like this to be a little bit more fun. So I, it's going to take me some time. But let me know if you enjoyed this. A lot of people have requested it. So I hope you did enjoy. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.